Lego has a lot of license thing that they don't use, so let's bring them back I guess. One of these things that seem like it was going to have a bright future was the Simpsons theme. First we have their house, then we had the Quickie Mart set, and then nothing, yeah. Nothing. The Simpsons are a very iconic franchise and there is a lot of potential with the theme. We can have maybe the monorail or the nuclear power plant, though I actually always thought that they are going to do that comic book store for a while and then I realized those were fake rumors, oops. Another great thing that would be awesome to see the return of was Lord of the Rings. Lego made sets based on the book by Tolkien that inspired the movie and because of that we also had some Hobbit sets based on the movie that was inspired by the book, I think you get it. But then nothing else, one of the most popular and profitable franchises ever has no set currently and good luck trying to buy one because the price, yeah. Don't worry, I don't have any of these sets, so if you don't have the sets, you are with me, you know. Amazon is making a new series and apparently it costed a lot of money, like a lot. So I can see Amazon promoting these new sets, maybe with a new Lego theme, but that's just me dreaming. Lord of the Rings has a lot of potential and it would be awesome to see the return of this theme. Another theme I could see the return of was Scooby-Doo because there was making a sequel. Oh, it got cancelled, so no. But to be honest, Lego and, uh, and Warner Brothers, they collab a lot to make these Scooby-Doo movies, even though there are no Scooby-Doo Lego sets, that's weird. But uh, Scooby-Doo Lego sets, where are you? Wow, that was a horrible joke. And there are also a lot of miscellaneous Lego thing that could be made as a one-off set. For instance, we have Doctor Who. There is already announced a new Doctor, so it would be great to see a set made. Maybe we can have that elevator and those robots. You can see I don't watch Doctor Who. Now would be a great time for you guys to click that subscribe button right now. Okay, thanks. Now, we'll go over a bunch of intellectual properties that were under the LEGO Dimensions brand. For those who don't know, LEGO Dimensions was a toy to life game, meaning that instead of buying the characters in the game, you bought them physically and then you had to scan them via this gadget here to the TV which made them characters in the game. The idea was started with other games you might recognize such as Disney Infinity. This concept was such a good idea that it obviously makes sense for LEGO to do one and so LEGO Dimensions was born. And the theme was not only limited to original LEGO characters, there was also third party IP. One particular show was Powerpuff Girls. They already got sets actually that didn't sell really well, but there is a new reboot coming really soon, so maybe we can see a return of this thing. But another Cartoon Network property was Adventure Time. And now, LEGO Adventure Time has always been a weird collab for me, but Adventure Time for me was also a weird show, I never understood what it was about. But LEGO did a dimensions pack with minifigures, and no new sets have re been released since there. No more minifigures. The problem with this one is that the show is quite old now, and it's not as relevant as other shows that are airing right now. Did you know LEGO made a Mission Impossible set? No, not King Impossible, Mission Impossible. Back in the day, there was this set with a Tom Cruise minifigure, but nowadays we see nothing from that, and it would be really cool to have a set with a Tom Cruise minifigure based on maybe the next movie, the 20th Mission Impossible movie. Now it's becoming Fast and Furious. Stranger Things is a series that is so popular. I mean, just look at the statistics for Netflix. So, in 2019, LEGO released this set with a normal version of the house and an upside down version with 8 minifigures were included with awesome detail. And then, nothing. Yeah, we got some brick heads, but that doesn't really count, guys, you know. With a new season, we can see LEGO finally bringing back another set, maybe a mall. I saw some awesome mocks of that, but I don't watch the series that often. I have seen some stuff, but I have no idea what LEGO could do for the fourth season. 
but I think the thing with the most potential and that we haven't got many sets is Disney. Yes, Disney. Lego has made some sets with a bunch of princesses and the 4 plus stuff for Mickey Mouse. We don't get much from the Disney vault, like we don't get many Disney classic movies like The Rescuers, The Lion King, The Great Mouse Detective, Aristocats and The Sword in the Stone. We only get stuff when idea sets are approved, for instance there is no white one. Why not we don't get new sets based on old Disney movies? I have no idea. And I don't want anything big like the Winnie the Pooh set or the Snow White set or the Hocus Pocus set. I definitely think there is a market for smaller sets like the gift with purchase ones or sets similar to this mini Disney castle. Could we get a version of Space Mountain de la Terra la Luna set? Or a smaller scale could work and LEGO already has min minifigures from the LEGO Disney minifigure series, exemplifying that LEGO doesn't do Disney television animation sets. And I think it's a big mistake. I mean, we already have Huey, Dewey and Louie minifigures, so why not make a DuckTales woo woo set, just like a vignette with Scrooge's money bin. We can also see some others like Tailspin or even Chi 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 Day Rescue Rangers. There is already an idea for that and there is already the brick head, so I mean, why not? Maybe Phineas and Ferb, remember that uh, never released game that we almost got and uh, that never approved Gravity Falls set? Yes, but do you know? What is something that is far worse? I think this is one of the most underrated franchises that LEGO has access to, Pixar. Pixar is one of the most famous animation studios out there with billion dollar franchises. But compared to Star Wars, like they don't get many sets. Yes, we have Lightyear, Toy Story and The Incredibles, but outside that, we don't have many sets. But most LEGO Pixar sets have been related to the Toy Story brand, as you can see. And even Toy Story was that thing for a while, but it came back to the release of the fourth movie and then it's dead again. But what about Monsters Week? Hatatouille, Inside Out, Bugs Life and many many others. As a recent example there was this Lego Ideas Hatatouille set that was rejected. He is trying to make a new version of the project out there and I hope he gets approved this version so go support it I guess. But my ideas for a Lego Pixar line would be to have a small vignette set that can be modular and connect together. So I decided to use this 3D software that's free and available online to try and design my own Lego Pixar theme, I guess, like this gift with purchase set. Let's make a modular concept that can all be connected. We can have maybe a Nemo, where are you set? The monsters wink with the doors, maybe a big fig for Sully. Maybe we can have a Hatatouille vignette with the kitchen for Gusto and maybe inside out as well, try to make all Pixar movies. So would you like to see more Lego sets or any of these themes to come back? Let me know in the comments below. But if you want to see more Lego secrets, click the video on the screen right now guys. See you there, okay? Bye.